tell you. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, let's do this. All right. Good morning, everyone. I am Senior Airman Madison Tenna, and I am a Cyber Operations Technician in the 33rd Fighter Wing. And here we have... I'm Master Sergeant Andre de la Torre Rospigliosi, but you can call me Shirt. And today we're going to do real talk with the first sergeant. What exactly do you do for the wing? Well, Madison, so first sergeant, we take care of people. That's our main focus, right? So there is like the book says, right? Take care of the health, wellness, morale, and good order and discipline of a unit. That's what the book says, right? But that's exactly what I do. It's pretty simple. I use Simplify. I say, we take care of people. But what is something you would have done differently as a junior airman? Uh, so, as a junior airman, I remember those days. Uh, it was great. I didn't really focus on anything else but work. Uh, a lot of people do that, actually, currently. So, uh, as an airman, I wish I had taken care of more of my education. Uh, I just went to work. I, I came in when I was 18 years old, actually. So I turned 19 in tech school. My first base was here, Eglin Air Force Base. And um, I was just focusing on working, working, working. Nobody really pushed me much. And, uh, but again, I should have pushed myself and I didn't. So that's probably the part that I regret not doing earlier. Now, you know, I'm closer to graduating from my master's degree. However, you know, how long it took me to get it done, I could have done it before. So much Air Force, look at that, boom. What are some challenges that you have faced as an airman and what did you do to overcome them? Challenges as an airman. Airman with a capital A. <laughs> because, uh, you know, I was, as a, as a young airman, obviously my, the biggest challenge was the language barrier, right? As you can hear, and I don't know if there are subtitles there, but you know, as you can hear my accent, I'm actually, I was born and raised in Lima, Peru. And I moved to the United States when I was 16 years old. I moved to Miami. So Miami, a lot of people don't speak uh, English, correct? So I learned how to write and read it, and that's how I made it through my uh, basic training and tech school. However, getting to my first base and dealing with customers, because I was a telephone guy, wire dogs, hoop, hoop. Uh, sorry about that, but, <laughs> but yeah. Uh, that was one of those things that uh, was a big challenge and even until today it is a challenge. Uh, obviously when you work through the ranks and you become an NCO, you're expected to go out there and get uncomfortable, you know, talking to people, uh, leading. In order to lead you have to talk and, you know, public speaking is a big one. So that is definitely one of the biggest challenges I've, I've faced and I've been facing throughout my career. However, you know, I just go for it and that works for me. Tackle it head on. Boom. <laughs>